Okay, thank you. Also, thank you the previous um, in, um, presentation from the Professor Kans and uh, my colleague Jason and Vela. They bring us the idea of the GIS science and uh, the concept of the smart city. So my presentation will uh, share the idea about the one map platform and how we could uh, um, put this into the practice in a government. Uh, so uh, I'm very pleased to be here to have this presentation for you, the new matter of the e-government and the uh, key foundation is a uh, one-man platform. So today my presentation will be uh, the four parts, uh, background and how we could design for the one-man platform and what the futures included in the platform. At last we will review all the ideas so let's have a look up, have a look for the background for the definition of the e government could be a good support for good governance and it will improve the in effectiveness and efficiency in governmental task besides a government will bring better communication among different departments so how about a government in china the recently published United Nations uh, Nation government survey this year cited the one-stop public service system in Shanghai. The Shanghai government portal has almost 30 million users and there are over 2 million legal person users. So as you can see, the level of government in China is pretty advanced. So what we are looking for in a government system. First, we will want to have the smart and the simplified of the process, like approval process. And uh, we want a faster and uh, flexible application. It will uh, provide the more reliable support for decision maker. And the decision maker like uh, from the authority could have the reasonable planning for the government. So let's move to the second part. Let's figure out how we can design a good one map platform. During the set of the one map platform, we will meet several problems like this, uni, uh, this unified data standard, the isolation between different departments, the spatial data is separated from business data, and the system couldn't adapt to big data and uh, might have the slow response for emergency situation. And uh, there are about 40% projects has requirements for map sharing in Chinese cloud information projects. So one map can be the key foundation for these problems. So for the first question, how to deal with resource sharing? Through the data from all kinds of industries like land planning, environment, traffic, and the administration authority, it could achieve cross-level, cross-region, cross-business data sharing and the application system and build a one map platform which could support the whole region and the one map could achieve spatial temporary and all the infrastructure um, and the application could uh, be achieved on the cloud, could uh, have the more smart cloud framework. Suddenly we need to set up the systematic construction to build the complete plan platform which cover all kinds of industries like from city management, livelihood, environment, emergency, and the natural resource. And the more complicated system is, the more abundant application could be included in one map platform. Then we will meet the problem from the resource sharing, unified standards of different sources of data. So we could use SuperMap Mountain Source Integration technology to achieve the integration of data from different sources, libraries, scales, 
coordinate systems, one map platform would apply multi-source integration technology to achieve the full type service published in short time. So it will help us guarantee the efficiency of the web system. And the SuperMap data management tool provides rich cartography, semantic map production, data processing, and spatial analysis. There are a lot of functionality included in the data management uh, on this session. And the cloud server with high performance cross platform JS Core could provide full function JS service publish, management, and the integration, support extension development for different levels users, and also we support the OGC standard to uh, guarantee the web service could uh, be applied in different areas. So if we already develop the existing system, we will have the integration problem for the integration of existing resources. Our data center will require data from the existing systems and the data will have the security check and the call, call the UI from the existing systems. And uh, how to deal with isolation among different uh, department. One map platform need to set up the collaboration scheme with provincial authority to achieve geo data sharing with different uh, departments. So for some strong related departments, one map could have full cooperation with this uh, authorities to make full use of the ba basic data. At the same time, one map could assist them to produce the data to provide the complicate, uh, complete uh, data management and uh, publish capability to this department. And uh, there are several levels for our government management from ministry, province, city, and uh, county level through the vertical and the horizontal collaboration among different departments to solve the data integration problem. And the horizontal coordination could be through the different local area network, government network, and the vertical coordination could be achieved through the bank ball network. So as we know, different uh, departments will have the conflict of the interest. So what if the uh, departments don't want to share the resource? So how to deal with the data sharing motivation problem? So we could integrate the cloud infrastructure and achieve the independent management for different uh, departments. At the same time, have the unified patch management. Meanwhile, it could uh, integrate with billing service models to solve the motivation concern for the resource sharing. The independent environment could support the billing for different resources, like each department could publish their own GIS data to achieve the billing by like the access time of the users. And each department could uh, apply the JS resource from one map portal after the approval process, JS, uh, like the JS service provider could charge the fee from the access time. So for the big data applications, how one map plan platform integrates with the big data application? The construction system of the one map includes uh, like the first uh, set up the distributive spatial data engine integrates multiple uh, sources of data to achieve high efficient data management and the reliable data foundation. Based on GIS microservice framework and the distributive data, big data engine, data exchange, one map could provide the authority, the professional mapping service and the visualization, spatial analysis, different kinds of functionality. 
and also uh, through the portal system, uh, we could uh, achieve the public sharing and the semantic map portal. So then we could have a look at the technical system of this platform. Firstly, we have uh, we will have the distributive storage for different types of the big data. Like we have kinds of um, data like from the vector data, IoT data, cache data, text data, and the image data. We uh, could uh, have the different types of the database like PostgreSQL, Circle, HBase, Elasticsearch, MongoDB, different types of database to support the different types of the data. And uh, secondly, for the massive data, we could use uh, distributive calculation for distributive analysis. Then based on the microservice framework, we could achieve the maintenance management. At last, we could achieve the high performance visualization based on the distributive cache and the maintenance control center could be applied for the management of the application service infrastructure and the big data application. As we can see, the basic functions include in the control center like node management, monitor of the service, user management, and so on. So let's see the video from the control center. So you can see we could have the statistics of the software you are using like iServer, iPoto, the database, and we could see the percentage of the CPU occupy, uh, like how much percent will already be occupied for the current applications. And it also will have the real-time access statistics for the users. So we could have the, this dynamic monitor system for all the database and the software you have. Besides, you could have the um, real-time management of all the nodes and uh, this could highly improve the stability for your platform. And from the portal side of the platform, it's integrated with different GIS resources from different types, providing the unified entries, like the access for the resource searching and access. And it's also reduced the cost of the GIS resource. So let's um, have the last question, like how to deal with a slow response for the emergency situation. Mm -hmm. Like uh, during the special period of the COVID-19, uh, Chinese government also have the very quick response for the COVID-19 situation. And uh, also for our e government uh, system, so the portal could be implemented without any development, without any coding. And during uh, this special period, the YMAP platform could achieve the fast deployment for the monitor and the management system for the COVID-19. And it's mm -hmm. also, yeah, let's see some screenshot from the COVID-19 management system in Guizhou province. And it also supported the faster deployment for the 3D visualization in our portal side. You could customize your style of this portal and set the dashboard for this. And it also could adapt to the mobile UI for the public use. So let's move to the third part on the new features of the OneMap platform. So OneMap uh, here are really cooperated with a lot of authorities and the commercial partner publish the service for image, digital mapping, traffic navigation, and the different kinds of data. 
So this is a new pattern of the service framework to bring faster, more flexible service for separate uh, de departments and the users. So it could be very flexible for different uh, uh, authorities. And uh, one map um, platform provides the uh, different uh, departments uh, based on their different uh, demands and uh, provided a flexible mapping service for the different authorities. So at last, let's take a look at the one example of the one map system in China. This case is from the Liu Zhou, it's uh, south, uh, south of the China. And uh, it have this special temporary compression of the image data for the big data application. And uh, in, in its subsystem, it have the cadastre management system. You could uh, have the query information query for specific flow uh, of the different departments. And also with the connection of the CCTV, you could check the camera information, have this fast 3D view of this building for the indoor view. And also for the specific objects, you could have the information query. And also it's integrated with the underground uh, pipeline. And there are a lot of uh, um, subsystem integrated in this, uh, in this platform. Like we could have the analysis of the big data, spatial temporary big data. Like we uh, select a, a bridge uh, for, the, for this CCTV information. And we also could check the uh, geological hazard information, like for this area, how many geological hazards happening uh, in the previous time, and check the influence area of the geological hazard. And another subsystem is for the smart community. So it provides the basic information query like the uh, education, traffic, medical facility. So you could, uh, uh, it's mainly for the public use, you could uh, have the quick view for all the uh, con uh, convenient uh, information query. I'm sorry to interrupt, uh, Kai. You still have five minutes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's for the population movement. So at last, uh, let's review all the points we just mentioned for the YMAP platform. The first, point, the first key point is uh, resource sharing, resource integration, and uh, use uh, independent portal system for independent departments with separated uh, billing system to deal with uh, problem of the sharing motivation. And thirdly, we use uh, multi-source integration technology to unify the data standard, and it could start in the data center. And what's more, we use a new framework for the big data application, and uh, that could have the very efficient and the fast response for the emergency situation. So that's all for my presentation. I hope my experience could uh, bring you a good inspiration for the one map platform in your country. And if you have any questions, you could ask me in your uh, the Q&A session. Okay, thank you.